today I am going to show you how to safely share files on Google Drive. Google Drive is a powerful collaboration tool that allows us to easily share files and folders with our colleagues within or outside of our university. However, if used improperly, it is also possible for us to share our sensitive files with individuals who are not supposed to be able to see our files and if privacy of those files is protected by law. The improper sharing of the files can lead to potential data breaches and in certain cases, even civil or criminal penalties. Today, I am going to show you how to properly share files with collaborators. Please keep in mind that although Google Apps, including Gmail and Google Drive, can be used to share files and collaborate with others, Due to certain legal concerns at the moment, we should not use Google Apps to share data that are regulated by export control laws, such as ITAR or EAR, or healthcare privacy and security laws, such as HIPAA. So the following prerequisites must be met before we can share files on Google Drive. First, we will need a valid VCU EID with access to VCU's Google Apps. Second, we will need a file or folder to share with others. And finally, we will need the collaborator's email addresses. Once the prerequisites are met, we can begin our sharing process. First, let's open a browser and go to http colon slash slash apps.vcu.edu. Once there, Let's click on the Login to Apps for VCU button. Next, we must enter our EID and our password, and then click on the Log Me In button to log into your Google Apps. So once we're into Google Apps, let's click on the Drive button at the top of the screen to access your Google Drive. For the purpose of this demo, we will create and share a folder named Demo in Google Drive. So first, let's hit the Create button and choose to create a new folder. Next, we will name the folder and hit the Create button. As you can see, a new folder named Demo is created in our Google Drive. In order to share this folder, we must first select it by clicking on the checkbox next to the folder. Then, let's click on the Share button to initiate our sharing process. In order to preserve the privacy of our files and folders, we should never change the visibility settings under Who Has Access. To share the folder, simply add the email address of the desired collaborator into the Add People field. Next, we must choose whether the collaborator can edit or can only view the content. By default, once the files or folders are shared, the collaborators will be notified via email. We can disable the notification by unchecking the Notify People via email checkbox. Alternatively, we can also add our own customized message to the collaborators. By default, if we provide our collaborators the ability to edit our files or folders, he or she may then be able to reshare our content with others. To prevent this, we can click on the Change link at the bottom and choose the option that indicates only the owner can change the permissions. Next, we'll click on the Save button and we're ready to share and save our folder. So let's click on the Share and Save button and the Done button to complete the sharing process. 
Notice how the folder icon changed. This icon indicates that the folder is now shared. Keep in mind, now that the folder is shared, any files we place into this folder will be shared with our collaborators. If we only want to share one file under a folder, then we should select the file and go through the sharing process. Thank you for watching this tutorial brought to you by VCU Technology Services.